Friday challenge. Let's do it again. Build yourself any unit you want that includes gas. That means you can ignore any dogs, zealots, or marines, because if you build them, the tractor shoot's going to find you. No, if you build them, you will not qualify. So here we go. We do know that we have the upper right-hand man being played by Robert as the Red Zerg. In the lower left-hand corner, it is the unit you use to build houses and buildings. It is Bricks as the Blue Protoss. So Bricks did submit the game. He will be prevented from building any form of Zealots. So it would be all gas units we see out of him. As far as the Zerg goes, for Robert, you can build whatever the hell you want because you're not doing the tractor shoot challenge, but you are doing the food cheap by planting down that good old extractor and canceling it right away here. Should be a half-decent game, I would have to imagine. Does look like Bricks is going to plant himself off a nice little pylon on the corner of the Raptor, wall himself off into his one little base and be quite comfortable doing so. He's also going to send out himself a good old scout early in the game. Hey, look at the good old proto tab. You will see Robert cheating to get 11 food. Does have himself an Overlord on the go there. Overlord does get himself out. Does unsupply block himself here. And will go to work on the drone count. In the meantime, he does have himself an Overlord over top of the ramp. But does not want to scout with that Overlord by no way, shape, or form. Like I say, 2v2s are going up tomorrow. Got a few of them queued up. And might even throw a 1v1 in there. And I will also let you know the next Friday challenge. Make sure you stay tuned because this is going to be the hardest Friday challenge I have ever done. Possibly the hardest Friday challenge in the history of challenges. So make sure you pay attention to that because it will not be for the weak at heart. And I'm only doing it because I have been questioned, or not questioned, I have been asked to come up with a very hard one. Because we have some people that are itching to challenge themselves very, very heavily here. So I will make sure it is a tough one here. Does look like Robert is going to chase around that probe here. Keep an eye on him, make sure nothing funny happens. He is going to set himself with a nice little hatch first type build here. And I would have to imagine the spawning pool will come down soon. In the meantime, there that probe does see it. Oh, he cancels it. Robert says, nope, I don't want you to know that's going down. Get your ass out of here. He's going to fire off two more drones after him here. So those two drones will chase him down. And he does elect to go spawning pool instead. So Robert being sneaky and did try to go hatch. Oh, Brick says no. Brick says there is no hatchery going down while I'm down here. And now he's actually going to scout out the spawning pool quite possibly here. I'll soon find out he might not. Uh, did he actually get a hold of that one there? Yes, he did. So he does know that the spawning pool has gone down. So he has not been fooled at all. He does let the pylon finish there. So that will prevent that expansion from going down anytime soon. In the meantime, at the other end of the map, he has managed to get himself out a gateway and a cyber core on the go. Not like a too, too shabby so far. Definitely making a very big nuisance with one probe. You can see exactly what one worker can do to piss the opponent off here. Or maybe Robert's not mad at all. And he is just smiling away saying, ah, ah, you're an asshole. But it doesn't bother me at all. There we go. Does look like we're slowly going to get rid of that there. We're down to 56 hit points. We'll watch that baby go down to the two drones. And in the meantime here, I wonder if Robert's soon going to realize that he might want to get a couple dogs out here to maybe help out chase him down there. He goes and gets a few dogs down there. As four dogs on the map, they weren't told to do anything, so they're just going to sit there, lick themselves, and not do a whole heck of a lot there. But the probe might actually move right into him and help him out, but maybe not there. So it does look like the second extractor is going to go down as well. So he's looking to get into a fairly decent gas build. And there we go. Those dogs should force him to try and get back to his base. Whether or not he'll end up getting there, not going to happen. He's going to turn right in the dogs. And we'll finally end up losing that probe. What the? F <laughs> Robert getting a little bit antsy. I don't even know if he's got enough room to use this as a macro hatch and possibly build another one in behind it. That's how far off he is. He could actually fit another one in behind it and probably be in the perfect position. What the hell is that, Robert? We're going to assume Robert had a few drinks tonight and maybe misclicked that. Or maybe his micro skill is so sick. 38 micro. Maybe he was going so quickly to get up to that 38 number there that he maybe misclicked. I'm not entirely sure, folks. But either way there, Robert might realize when his money's not coming in very fast that those drones are overly tired from having to move that far. There we go. We're going to send one dog out. We're going to remain sitting the rest at the base there. So nine dogs will set a base. One dog will move out. And he has scouted out the lower left-hand corner. This is also... This is the uh, Yuansu map. Yuansu? I don't even know how to pronounce that. But uh, it's always a cross-spawn map. So I'm pretty sure this wasn't used to scout. If it was, then maybe he's unaware that this is a cross-spawn map. Who knows? I never judge because you never know, right? I've never seen this Yuansu map until about a week ago. And I realize it's been out longer than that. But either way, or maybe it hasn't. We'll assume it hasn't. Maybe that was the first date came out, which is why i never seen it. We are going to go down here with the Mothership course. So Brick's doing a little bit of scouting. Brick's in the meantime should have no Zealots, which he does not, which is very well done. And he is also getting down a second gateway. So with all that micro, the probe wasn't doing a whole lot of macro. Only has himself out one uh, stalker. So two stalkers by the seven-minute mark. 
This pro has been standing there for a very long time. Finally, elects to give him a job. He's actually going to put him down there and wait to do an expansion once he gets enough. Still has this dog out here. Those stalkers will scout the dog on the move command. The dog's going to start eating them up here. And those stalkers apparently don't give a shit. There they go. They're going to turn around there. They're going to shoot him down. Mothership Corps gets in the base here. Realizes he's got absolutely nothing for air. Does have a queen pop out just in time there. Queen's going to go to work on him. Does need to get him out. Hopefully gets him out in time. Great big trouble here. Doing a lot of damage to him. And the other queen's coming out trying to surround him. Oh, this might not be good for him. Of course, queens don't move when they're off a of creep. So that won't go overly well. Gets the stalker in there. We'll get a nice little kill on this queen. I would have to imagine this can be very, very close. He's trying to get the dogs in there. Oh, does end up retreating there. Brings the Mothership Corps in to try and help us out here. And Mothership Corps, of course, will take Eon to take down that Queen. He's actually going to lose that Mothership Corps. Does look like here. One more shot, two more shots. No! Gets it out of there. Very well done by Bricks. In the meantime there, the soccer are microing away from these dogs here. And have the dogs so far out of position that Mothership Corps could go to work on him without any worries of those Queens getting over here. And, yeah, the Queens have elected to stop doing so. So they're going to have chasing that stalker all the way back to the base. Running right past the Naga Tower. And runs that dog right to the base. That's not going to go overly well. It does end up losing that dog. That's a fairly weird-looking wall kind of thingy here. But it does work here. Pilot's going to go way over here. Gateway's way over here. A couple things offset are not the main portion of the wall. is built pretty good. I won't give you that much. Very good construction. It's just I, I expect a tighter build out of something that builds buildings like bricks. You know, bricks... Bricks kind of leads me to believe we would have the tightest looking, sickest formation of buildings and that nobody would be able to get in there. But maybe that's just me taking it too literally. And not too sure what this one was doing. This probe here, right here, that one right there, he was a little funny. He was doing like a little jaunt and went all the way up and around and kind of did a little funny thing. He's going to stand there and watch his little partner build everything. He apparently doesn't want to do any work. But in the meantime here, we do have some overlords finally scouting away. But he does know where his opponent is now at the very least. So uh, that's going to be very helpful. <laughs> Look at those drones go. Those are the hardest working drones you're going to see. I will tell you that much there. They are doing a lot of long distance mining here. Not too sure if Robert has realized this at all. Like I said, I still think he could almost fit another one in there in the perfect spot in behind it there. And use this as a macro. But I'm probably wrong. It is probably just a little bit too close to get the one in the proper spot. But in the meantime here, Bricks has finally got the expansion finishing up here. Has himself a lot of pylons, so made sure he's not going to get supply blocked anymore. So very well done there. And is going to elect to get into a Stargate technology. Not that bad of a choice, my good man. In the meantime there, we are doing a little bit of a drone transfer. You should probably do a shit ton of drone transfers to the rocks. Yeah! Oh, there they go. They are going to go to work. Okay. Maybe I was prejudging you, but you do have a gas up here, so might want to look at start mining out of that gas. Does have three up there, three up there, so very well done. Layer technology is out. Roach Warren is on the go. Spire has finished up. Sorry, I've been paying attention to you over here, Robert. My apologies. So Robert already with the Spire out there, so he does have an overseer as well. So it does look like he is going to get into a good old Muta type build. Roaches are also getting their reconciled glands. Is that what it is? Glial reconstitution. That's the word I'm looking for. There you go. Pretty typical English word, right? And there we go. We are going to get another expansion out. So Robert, not looking that good. Decent, or he is looking pretty good. Not looking that bad, I was going to say. Has himself a pretty decent macro game. Aside from the placing of this, Robert, you're after your half-decent play so far. Player so far. And there we are. We are going to move back and forth. Make sure there's nothing sneaky up there. No uh, Nidus canals or anything like that. Or maybe they're trying to get out of the base and realize they're stuck. No, they are patrolling, making sure nothing sneaky gets in there. So there's the third. There's the macro hats going down as well here. So Robert really going to work here on his macro game. And of course, that's very easy to do when your opponent isn't moving out of their base and it's just kind of sitting back and relaxing here. And yeah, everybody patrols. Apparently when you're a stalker, you are the patrolling army. You are the cadet of cadets, the soldier of soldiers, the infantry of armies. So they will go back and forth, back and forth. And like I said, very good job with the Naga Tower here. Very good map vision out of them all together here. Really, Robert is controlling uh, controlling the map so far anyways here. Not controlling the game, but definitely controlling the map vision. And there we are. We do have a stalker doing a little bit of scouting for him, making sure he knows exactly where all the bases are on the map. He is flying all his overlords up there because they do tend to get in the way. And there we are. Mutas are finally hitting the field here. And like I say, he will need at least usually three bases is pretty comfortable. Two bases is somewhat comfortable, but three is really comfortable if you get the gases going on it there uh, for Muta build. Mutas just takes so much 100-100. Uh, for building them there. A few, uh, few roaches do end up going down there, so let it finish. I don't know if he wants to reveal the stalkers. I wouldn't recommend that, especially if you don't have to. And uh, I don't think he did, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure Firewalker would have missed that. Um, but either way, there he's going to continue to build his way up with those mutas. Well, maybe not. He has four of them on the field. Does he have any proto? No, he does not. He's getting the range. He's also getting the up other upgrade for his roaches. What is the other upgrade called? I actually don't remember. Is the Tunneling Claws, which will basically enable them to burrow, I do believe. 
move all world sorry and he's getting the Nidus Canal, so he is actually going to be sneaky, sneaky, sneaky man, this Robert is. You never know what he's going to do. He builds everything. He has dogs, roaches, queens moving out here. Muta's moving out here. And he is also going to look to get himself into that Nidus here, which should be very interesting. Especially with these, uh, these uh, patrolling stalkers here. It's really going to be tough for him to find a location to burrow into. He could definitely maybe sneak, sneak something up over here. Uh, maybe around the rocks, but at the same time, that's not really all that sneaky. He could definitely get in over here. It will be tough to get in there undetected, but he does have a lot of room to bury something right in here. Uh, but we'll soon find out here. Maybe he won't do one at all, and he'll just disappoint the whole tractor shoot nation. And there we go. Phoenix is going to move out here. It's a very interesting choice by our good man, Bricks. And he is also getting the good old upgrade for his uh, carriers. So very interesting getting into carriers. This is very, very interesting type build out of him here. Take a look at the good old Eunice tab here. We do have seven Eunice finally on the map. And we are looking. The Phoenixes do get up there. They do reveal themselves a bit here. They're going to look to do a couple pickups and kills here. And yes, that's exactly what they can do. They can basically one shot those. Very well done. Queen gets in there. They're going to go to work with that queen. Might actually get a queen kill. Fairly decent. Always good to get this little bit of nuisance happening late in the game. Munas do finally reveal themselves with some good micro, though. Phoenixes are pretty sick against Munas. As you can see, they can move and shoot at the same time. And they can even fly right in. The Munas take a couple shots that were unneeded and do the same thing there. But eventually, they will end up taking down all these Munas. Munas as well do go down very quickly. Here. As you do see, all those mutas go down. He realizes it sucks playing against the uh, Phoenix there, especially with the mutas, unless you have a good mass amount of units. Queen does get over there, tries to fend off those uh, Phoenixes there. So very well done. Does manage to get his third up in the meantime. And his opponent does have the Nidus. And what the? F put in the middle of the map. Not exactly the most efficient use of a Nidus. But either way, I mean, it, it works. Like I say, he did end up dropping the creep spread down the middle of the map to do so. I don't know why he just didn't move from there to there. From right there to there. But either way, I mean, you can put Nidus's wherever you want. Nidus is, the, that's the whole fun of them, right? That is the fun of StarCraft 2. You can do whatever you want with your fucking Nidus canal. I don't care if you put your Nidus canal right fucking here and moved them, really. <laughs> either way, it's just, just a little suggestion, that's all. You might want to move it. Move it. It's usually used to uh, get units across the map uh, a lot quicker. Or even sneak him into someone's base. Is he even going to use the Nidus Canal? Or did he just build a Nidus Canal in the middle just to say he built one? He is not moving any units. Is he going to move them into this end of the Nidus? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, okay. Let's see. Robert has zero upgrades. Zero upgrades for the air. And no, he's just going to run right. Okay. Apparently he just built the Nidus just maybe for tricks. It could be. Robert is pretty tricky. You did see him cancel the hatchery, then build the squatting pool. So maybe he's got tricks up his sleeve here. He's going to go to work on the rocks here. Realizes he's been spotted. Really doesn't give a shit. So he's just going to continue going at the rocks here. In the meantime, I would have to imagine that Brex is going to move his entire army over here to try and fend this off. Or at least I think he's going to move his army over here. Does have carriers out now. Lots of carriers. Actually, four carriers. This is going to be very, very deadly. And here we go. They're right to the base there. Going to work. He's probably feeling pretty good at this point. Not going to be feeling good when those great big blimps get over here, though. They're going to do a ton of damage. Pulling away that unit. This is just getting in the way there. And we are just going to go to work here. But like I say, with those interceptors coming out, they're going to be very deadly. He needs to focus down the carriers. Don't you think he shot one carrier? Uh, so obviously wasn't focusing down. Photon overcharge was a little bit overkill for that. But it does work in the end for you. In the meantime, the opponent will have to rebuild that army. If you want to take a look at his units here, he does have four dogs. And that is about it. And that is not going to go overly well, especially since Bricks is going to move himself across the map here. And as you can see, those interceptors are slowly filling up. And there we go. He has spotted the Nidus Canal. There's the trick Nidus Canal. It looks like it's ready to unload something. No, it says here. So that doesn't really do him any good here. Didn't have anything in it anyways. Okay. So fair enough there. We are going to push ourselves right into the base. And really go to work here. A few little dogs end up going down there. Other than those few little dogs, you don't really have any other units to bring out. So it does look like our good man Brick should have this game in the bag here. And I did not see one Zealot or... or uh, I did not see one Zealot. Sorry, that's, I guess that's the only unit you could build that doesn't include gas. So did not see one Zealot on the map. So this will be a win for Bricks. I would have to imagine, barring a miracle, we did end up spending, planning down Spore Cars. Spore Cars really don't help against... Uh, carriers at all because all they do is shoot down the interceptors but they will help against the phoenixes and we'll say that corruptors will definitely help and now he's focusing them down so he definitely knows how to focus down units so very well done there upgrades on the air is 1-1 one, one, so very decent on the upgrades but these carriers just way too many hit points they're going to melt away these corruptors very very easily here so carriers do their job should be gg happening pretty quick here this third's going to go down very very quickly here 
and those sport cars will we'll follow it up here and that's of course Brick selects to the right for the juggler and take out the rest of the units here are getting some dogs out to run underneath the carriers and keep an eye on them while they massacre the rest of your base so very well done there and there's the dogs yes they will run it or they'll actually get a kill on a couple of the stock to see if they end up losing all them as well and now we'll determine what Brix wants to do next here. He is up 124, 253. His opponent doesn't have a lot of units. He's continued to build ground units, though. Uh, really needs to pump the crap out of either sport cars or maybe mutas. Does he even have the larva count to do so? He has eight larva on the field, so he could get a few mutas out. But at this point, I think he's pretty much toast. Corruptors would actually be a better choice. Uh, so it does look like we are going to move in with the good old carriers here. Carriers are going to go to work. We'll take out another overlord and see what kind of damage they can do. Robert finally says, I've had enough of this. I'm going to leave that game. So my condolences go to you, Robert. My congrats to Rex for finishing Friday Challenge. I will leave you with this. Don't do that by yourself. Because candy doesn't grow on trees. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.